So Mr. Ali Fahad, kindly enlighten the community about yourself and your journey into the initiation of Park Launch. What inspired the idea? Give us an insight to the vision that you had in your mind before evaluating and you know basically executing your idea. So um, I was born in Lahore to a military um, how we can contribute back to Pakistan uh, by bringing more uh, funding and, and how to share knowledge um, into Pakistan. And that's how we started uh, Park Launch as a WhatsApp group with seven friends uh, in San Francisco. So the idea was we will uh, contribute back to Pakistan. So what was the vision that you had basically apart from doing something for Pakistan? What actually made you execute the idea of starting Park Launch? So it started with just uh, seven friends. We were, you know, Atif Awan, who's a pretty renowned uh, VC in Pakistan, was one of our close friends. And he had started his VC fund. So I've been to his events and he was talking about you know, we've been talking about, we were talking about giving back to Pakistan. So, um, so we, we thought of starting a WhatsApp group so we could share knowledge with each other. We could explore different opportunities, uh, investing into Pakistan. And maybe because we did have several years of experience among us, we thought like maybe we can contribute back to Pakistan and give back to Pakistan. You mentioned Mr. Atif. Can you please walk us through the rest of your core team that has stood by your side and has contributed to the esteemed position where Park Launch stands today. Yeah, I think there have been several folks along the way. Some of them were more active in the beginning and then, you know, over the time, like they got busier and other folks came in. Um, so initially um, there was, uh, Subhan Jalil was one of the folks from, from GIK Alumni Association. I was working very closely with him about GIK. Uh, alumni in the US uh, on different events and things like those. Um, you know, uh, one of the folks uh, who really helped in the beginning was Hamad Khan, mm -hmm. again, a batchmate based in London. So he did some of the initial webinars with us. Atif was very supportive. Soon after, a lot of local VCs started to join. So, you know, Kalsoom and Faisal Aftab and Rabil Wadaich, and then um, Ali Hassan is another GKN from from London uh, who did some of our initial fundraisers for us. Um, so along the way, I think a lot of folks have changed. Uh, recently, uh, some of the folks who have been more active are uh, this gentleman called Rahil Bordla out of uh, Bay Area has been helping with a lot of events in the Bay Area. There's uh, Salman Khalid uh, out of Dubai. Uh, he is a private equity. Uh, person and he's been doing a lot of events in Dubai and has been helping us with a lot of uh, fundraise events. Tamur Malik, um, you know, he's a lawyer, uh, runs one of the largest organizations, uh, organization of uh, communities of lawyers in Pakistan. He's been he's been helping us with a lot of stuff and advising. Um, Talha has been running our operations for the last year or so uh, and has helped uh, execute last you know uh, two events that we did. So, Mr. Pahad, we have seen that, you know, Park Launch has successfully hosted two conferences and has obviously contributed significantly to the cause of not only enhancing the tech industry in Pakistan, but also bridging the gap that exists between SMBs and investors, resulting in a more polished and efficient industry. So, what are your plans for the upcoming Unconference 23 being hosted in Dubai? Yeah, um, so... Maybe a little bit more about, you know, why this event is, uh, what brought us to this event. You know, as we started with uh, with seven friends, now we have over 300,000 uh, followers uh, across different platforms. Uh, we have uh, the reason for, we were doing a lot of demo days, so we would bring startups uh, to help them raise money. We have helped close to 80 startups raise over $80 million for the last, uh, since January 1st, 2021. Uh, what we realized was um, that for us to keep bringing more money into Pakistan, we need to introduce more investors to the startups. And as the startups mature, we need to bring more serious money. Uh, so for us to do that, we, we did our first conference. Uh, it was a virtual one in September 2021. Then we did an AI conference in Pakistan, you know, to harness the, the talent and, and see people, you know, the engineering folks working in AI. Then we did a Park Launch Unconference 
which was a precursor to this upcoming unconference where the concept is you bring in the top 50 startups from Pakistan and introduce them to some of the biggest global investors. So in our last event in June, 52 people flew in from Pakistan. They came to Palo Alto and we introduced them to over 70 investors. We already know there were 17 investment deals made in that event or originated from that event. So our goal with this uh, Unconference 23 is we are taking the same event, but this time to Dubai. We think there's still a lot of juice left in Dubai because of you know, all the oil prices going up. And we want to introduce them, uh, our startups, to different set of investors. So our goal is to bring the top 50 startups to Dubai in, in January and introduce them to some of the biggest investors in the region and the family offices. What growth opportunities do you see in Pakistan? And what makes Pakistan the most suitable market for this sort of innovation? I think Pakistan is one of the most untapped markets right now uh, among some of the largest, uh, most populous countries. So Pakistan is you know, the fifth largest uh, you know, population in the world. We have uh, some of the, you know, one of the youngest populations in the world, uh, which is getting more and more literate. Uh, it's very tech savvy. And still there's a lot of room for digitizing, a lot of uh, elements and sectors within our economy. Uh, still a lot of our processes are done more manually, which need to be digitized. So as the industry and the market moves towards digital economy, it will create multiple unicorns. So Pakistan presents that opportunity to a lot of investors as they're looking into frontier markets, emerging markets, to look into Pakistan because it's one of those untapped market because of some of the perception issues and with our unconference, we want to challenge those perceptions uh, and, and change the thought process about what Pakistani tech is all about, which is growing very rapidly. And it's one of the most talented and, um, you know, with, with the most number of freelancers available, um, a lot of uh, tech savvy young population. What suggestions or feedback would you like to give to the community? that would give birth to them having a similar vision as yours? I think, uh, I know it sounds a little bit cheesy, but it's all about, mm. uh, you know, following something that you are really passionate about. So Definitely. in our case, this community is uh, is all about giving back. So we are probably one of the very few communities that, um, you know, we remove inactive members. So we only look for folks who want to contribute back, are active about it, passionate about it. So. Um, uh, I think for someone looking into a new venture, just follow what you truly believe in, be passionate about it. Don't focus too much on the returns, at least initially. You need to have some direction about the opportunity and the market size, but uh, more importantly, you need to follow what you're really, really passionate about. Please give us an insight into some growth opportunities that you have in mind for Park Launch in the foreseeable future, let's just say five years? Yeah, um, I, I think our growth is, uh, frankly speaking, a lot more than we even anticipated. Uh, mm -hmm. And we have never been all about the numbers. We have always focused on uh, on the KPIs or the metrics. So one of our vision is by 2030, we want to help build Pakistan into the top 10 ecosystems in the world. So anything that uh, helps us achieve that goal, it includes uh, upskilling the talent. So we do a lot of programs. With universities, we have partnership with multiple universities. We offer a lot of courses and trainings. We do a lot of mentoring sessions. Uh, we want to help the startups recruit the best talent. So we have groups around those where we are connecting the diaspora with the startups in Pakistan. So Mr. Ali Fahad, uh, would you like to mention some honorary names, some people that have helped you along the way to ensure that Park Launch is where it is today. Yeah, some of the folks that I would, uh, you know, we wouldn't have reached where we did. I think early on uh, were some of our GKN batchmates who helped and encouraged uh, with that. So Dr. Hamad Khan from London, uh, he hosted some of our earlier events, uh, pretty much all the local VCs. Um, so it started with Atif Awan. He was our first guest of our first webinar to Kalsum Lakhani, to uh, to Faisal Aftab, Rabil Wadai, Ali Mukhtar, They've all been part of our community and have helped us quite a bit. Uh, I would definitely like to mention uh, the gadgets, both Uzair and Akib and, and even Umair and Rafi for that matter. I think they were 
you know one of the earliest believers and have helped us um you know do a lot of great stuff and without their help we wouldn't have been where we are uh, some of the other team members that we have are some of our partners like um uh, Rahil Bodla from Nastian US Rafael Chaudhary from Fast Alumni Subhan Jalil from GIK Alumni um all the NICs in Pakistan we work very closely with um Talha Malik uh, is our operations manager so he handles all the posters and a lot of our marketing uh, has been doing a great job for the last year or so and then uh, folks uh, like Salman Khalid has been a key partner in our venture uh, he's from private equity background uh, based out of Dubai he manages a lot of our fundraisers and uh, Tahmur Malik uh, he's a he's a lawyer he runs one of the largest communities of lawyers based out of Pakistan um, i think these could be some of the folks i'm sure i'm missing a lot of them but they know who they are and we couldn't have done it without them